Uh, hey guys, so it's Lyndon here. Just wanted to give you a quick run through one of our power hubs. So this one's all wired up, it's been tested and programmed and it's ready to go out the door. So I just wanted to show you a few things and uh, yeah, let you know how it works. So um, inside, so the cabinet's fully lockable. Um, it's all IP55, so it's fine to go outside. Uh, once you open it up, you can see the um, color control screen here. So this is really your system monitor. So you'll see exactly what's going on from here. And you can also replicate this on your iPhone or tablet so that you can, you can see what's happening. Um, so we can go in, we can see solar production, battery percentage, how much our loads are, and basically every, every detail that you need to know about the system. Um, internally, we've got our Victron Quattro inverter in this one. So this has got the 10 kVA in this model. It's a Power Hub 10. Uh, so that's all, all mounted in there, ready to go. Um, our AC switchboard's all fitted off. Uh, we've got a, a, in this switchboard, we've got a manual changeover switch. So that's this fella here. The whole idea there is if there's ever a fault with the system, you can switch it on the generator only if you needed to. So to do that, you just, you just simply grab the switch, flicker up to generator only, and you'll be good to go. Uh, put it back on to normal mode. We've got our main battery isolator. So the, the full power from the batteries comes up and through this isolator. So that's your main point of disconnection uh, to shut the whole system down through that one. We've got our DC switchboard, which is basically where all our solar comes in. So solar would come down from the roof, it'd run in through the side of the cabinet over here, and then into the, the PV array DC isolator. So that's really all the wiring that had happened on the solar side, straight into that fella. Um, and then that's that's where you turn it, turn the solar on and off uh, when you fire it up. Um, on the side here, we've got our Victron MPPT. Um, so <clears throat> that's um, the 450 volt model. So it's got an open circuit voltage of 450 volts. So that means you can put up to roughly nine panels in series in one string, depending on the model. Um, so again, that's already all pre-wired for you. You don't need to touch anything on that front. It just comes straight into the, the DC switchboard. Uh, we've got the, every unit's fitted out with fans and they're all temperature controlled. Um, so there's a thermostat for the fans. As soon as it starts to notice that the temperature's rising in the cabinet, they'll kick in and help cool it down. Um, so you will, you will notice them fire up from time to time because it, it will heat up in the cabinet with normal use. Uh, down the bottom, we've got our lithium battery bank. So with the Power Hub 10, normally we go straight to the 20 kilowatt hours of storage, which is four batteries. But especially the smaller models, you can start off with fewer batteries. So as little as one battery on you know, the Power Hub 3 models. So if you do start off with, with only one or two batteries, you've got room to add more in. And it's just a case of plugging in these insulated connectors here when you buy another battery. So if you start off with a certain size system and you want to grow it as time goes on, you can buy an extra battery, slide it in the case, there's just four screws that hold it in place and then just a positive and a, and a negative power cable and that's that's pretty well it. Um, yeah, so I guess that's just a basic overview of one of our power hub systems. Um, look forward to chatting with you a bit more shortly.